know, we have more of a, uh, almost a production line process, okay? And it's a little bit more complicated of a process to do a stuffed pizza versus a wood-fired thin Neapolitan pizza or something like that. Certain ingredients go below the sauce inside the pizza, some, some ingredients go on top of the pizza at the end, and uh, the people work in a team. So as the orders come in, they work, you know, from either right to left or left to right, depending on what store you're at and what the layout is. And uh, it's very much a production line thing, like a Model T or something. You start out with the bottom layer of crust and you end up with your top ingredients and then you put it in the oven and then it cooks for its designated amount of time and then you take it out and cut it and send it where it needs to go. POS is a point of sale system. When we get an order that comes into the restaurant, you know, whether it's takeout or it's a pre-order for here, um, or if you're a server, you would say a dine-in server, you would select who you are, and it pulls up the, you know, what table it is, and then you would place the order. So this particular order, like a, like a fireplace takeout order, you'd have a pizza builder here, build pizza, you select your, uh, your size and your, your type of pizza, and all your toppings or specials that are on there. And then when you're done, special, black olives, accept, you would take the customer information, Joe S, enter, we got a phone number, and then you can spe specify the time if you like to send it back there. You initial the ticket so we know who took the order, and then when it's time, you would just send it back and it would fire in the kitchen back there and they would make the pizza. They can do a good job of inventory control, so you can look and see, okay, I ordered this many pizzas of pepperoni and each pizza is supposed to have so many ounces of pepperoni and I ordered this much and we can see, but the fact is people are making pizzas and they're human, they're not going to weigh everything out. There's going to be some variance here and there. You know, you can spend all day with your nose in the POS looking at, you know, different numbers and things like that. But what you're doing is you're taking yourself away from, you know, the, what you're doing is right in front of you. So just get out there and see what you're doing. And you're not going to find it necessarily in the spreadsheets. So the more time you're spent away from that, I think that's to your disadvantage. But the point of sale system, one thing it does well for us is that it improves workflow. So that's a big one for us, especially we have a lot of people on staff and before when we were filling out every order by hand, somebody would take the order at the table or at the counter and you'd rip it off the pad and duplicate and you'd walk it back into the kitchen and you'd hang it in the kitchen and you'd work your way through and reach between people and things like that. All that traffic, that back and forth traffic, you know, hundreds and hundreds of times a day, that's been eliminated. So it's a little bit more efficient that way. We were able to figure out a way to have really efficient flow at this location. It doesn't always happen. Sometimes you have to have bunching up and cross traffic and things like that. We came up with a pretty nice design on this location to really kind of minimize the uh, amount of back and forth and walking that you know employees and servers need to do. So you know the dining room is right there. The bus areas are right over here. You know the dirty dish areas are right around the corner. So everything's really efficient and, and, and close by. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to be able to work in that environment. <laughs>